Hey guys, welcome to the third masterclass on Chris the Freelancer. I'm here with Riley Bennett. What's up? You've probably seen Riley on a few other videos on the channel. He's also on YouTube as well. Ad <laughs> Adventures of a Digital Nomad. Um, so you've probably seen his lifestyle, like flying around, riding bikes in Vietnam and uh, you know, living the good life in Chiang Mai. But the way he makes his money is through um, selling on Amazon and uh, using fulfillment by Amazon. Um, and Riley has just released his own course. Now he's actually teaching people um, like how he does what he does. So I thought it was a good time to invite Riley on the channel once again uh, to talk more about how he makes money specifically using uh, Amazon. So. Yeah, so thanks for having me again on the channel, Chris. Um, so yeah, as you guys may know, if you follow my channel, first how I got into this, because that's you know kind of an important story. Like I'm not a computer whiz. I'm not a like Ivy League genius kid by any means. So I came out to the dropship lifestyle, Anton and Johnny's dropship lifestyle, a conference in 2014. Um, you know, I saved up about 10 grand from my job and came out here with Parker my best friend and we just wanted to figure it out how we can live in Thailand for a while and continue to travel if we figure out an online business. So eventually we learned the Amazon method, what I call it now, through a friend and we launched our first products about a year and a half ago and that's been our main, actually our only source of income and it's been keeping us out in Southeast Asia, both the two of us and we are splitting our product. Um, and about the course, uh, you guys may know I started my YouTube channel. I started like vlogging a year ago and through that, through my interviews, people would ask me like about what I do. What's this Amazon thing? How do you do this Amazon? So over this last year, I've been answering so many questions on YouTube, uh, Facebook, um, all over social media. And then eventually it just occurred to me, I should just record my answers and make a video course. So this is what was born out of it. So the Amazon method, it's, if you guys have watched Adrian's Kindle uh, mastermind class, it's sort of the same thing. You want to look to see what's already selling really well and you want to uh, private label, make your own version of that. So it's similar to the book. You go on Amazon, you see what's really hot, you know, it takes a lot of research, you comb through what's making money, what's profitable, and then you put out your own version of that. So that's essentially um, the Amazon method, and this, these, are, these are physical products, and we are basically buying online and selling online. We are buying the physical products online from China through Alibaba.com, which is basically the wholesale version of Amazon, mm -hmm. and we are, private labeling, which basically means put your custom logo on the product, make it yours. And uh, the China Alibaba uh, supplier, seller, will import all of your units. You were buying in bulk here. And we're, they will send all of your units to the Amazon warehouses in the United States. And um, we use what's called the Amazon FBA program, the Fulfillment by Amazon program. So Amazon has dozens and dozens of warehouses all throughout the U.S. They, Amazon will tell you which one to send it to. It's all you know, automated and algorithms and stuff like that. Um, they'll hold your inventory and when someone goes on Amazon and buys it, it's through prime shipping, they will deliver it to the customer automatically. So. The reason why we're doing this type of business is because it's a relatively passive type of business. Um, so I've been doing this for about a year and I just wanted to show um, my numbers here. Here's a screenshot of my seller essential. These are my numbers from the past uh, seven days, 15 days, 30 days. Here's the recent payment that we got paid uh, a couple days ago. It's a little small actually, but what I'm going to do today is go over my blog posts, which I wrote about a year ago, just kind of going over the uh, basic like three steps uh, of the Amazon method. And so here we go. How we make money my, while traveling Alibaba to Amazon. Um, so yeah, buying hot selling products from Alibaba and selling them all on Amazon under your own brand. Forgot to say the first step, guys. That is... 
Crack your Red Bull. Get fired up. Woo! Ah! Stone Cold Steve Austin style. Yeah. Get two beers. Anyways, guys. <laughs> So uh, if you guys haven't read the four hour work week, that's a good uh, supplemental, supplemental material for this. There is a chapter in the four hour work week about private labeling, which is exactly what we're doing here, guys. So take it from Tim Ferriss. There's some updates on my blog post here from you know when we were getting started. The Amazon philosophy real quick. Amazon is the biggest store in America. Um, picture all the Costco's in America. Like there's that many people shopping on Amazon every day. It's just, it's the biggest store in the world. I think it recently surpassed Walmart as the biggest store and it's only growing. You know, Bezos wants to get into every country. You know, he wants to dominate the world. So Amazon's not going anywhere. So here's the kind of overview. It starts with product research on amazon.com. You want to find a product and then uh, you order from alibaba.com in, in bulk and they deliver it to Amazon. And then the third part is getting reviews to get in the game and we'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. So product research, step uno. Finding what to sell is the hardest and longest part. It should take about a month in my opinion. Um, just like the same thing with the Kindle deal. It's the, the hardest part is to find what niche to go into. Okay, it took, it took us about a month. So here's a, a quote from Tim Ferriss. Um, <laughs> I had to stick that in there. Tim Ferriss, aka Jesus. <laughs> He's Jesus to digital nomads. He basically it was the first digital nomad. Like, so creating demand is hard, filling demand is easier. First, find a market and then find or develop a product for them. So that's exactly what we're doing right out of the four hour work week. We're finding the demand and then we're putting something into that demand. We're not coming up with an idea. You know, people come to me, Riley, do I have this idea for this, this one thing? I'm like, have you, oh, how does it sell on Amazon? They're like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If you come out with like a new, new widget, no one's going to find it because people aren't searching for that. So the, the whole method is you, you want to put a product in front of what people are searching for in Amazon. Okay. So there's some resources I use. Um, just real quick, the product criteria, 20 to 50 bucks range. It's kind of the impulse buy range on Amazon. Um, you know, it just basically something that's hot, you know, the, and these are some numbers that you can go. Um, look into. I don't need to get into the nitty gritty numbers. Something lightweight, um, easy to print your logo on it because um, if it's heavy, the shipping is going to destroy your margins. And the goal is to double your money or, or close to double your money. Right now, we're close to doubling our money, but with the bulk holiday order we just um, placed, we're actually doubling our money plus a couple bucks. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the overview as far as the margin. So if the cost of the product, if the cost to get this all the way to Amazon, like buying it from Alibaba um, and plus the shipping costs all the way to Amazon, let's say this is uh, $10. You want to aim for getting back as close to $20 as you can after all the Amazon fees. So, I like it. So, coming through Amazon. Luckily, Red Bull isn't worth $10. <laughs> yeah, this would be more worth uh, 10 cents. Yeah. But, uh, dumb example. <laughs> um, so, coming through Amazon, it starts by uh, you Google Amazon bestsellers, and this is the first page that will come up. It looks like this. And here's the actual live page Cards of Humanity is the best selling thing on Amazon. And so what you kind of just want to do is you want to go through all these categories here and there are certain categories that you avoid and you can see that on the blog post. Um, and you just kind of want to go through um, the subcategories and the sub subcategories and the sub sub subcategories. It just keeps going and just kind of just make a list of things that, um, that interest you, things that you have bought before, mm. things that you actually might buy because ideally 
you would want to get into a business um, with a product that you kind of you've kind of used before mm -hmm. that's like kind of interesting to you like i would definitely not go into the like crayola crayons you know niche because i'm not a kid but if i was a teenager like getting into this an entrepreneur kid like hey i might do that so yeah you basically go through and uh, what you do is you fill out a spreadsheet and you're kind of just like making a long list of 30 ideas that fit the general criteria of things that um, things that interest you. And then after you have the list, you can go into the deeper, deeper down looking at um, uh, looking at the real sales numbers with a tool that I will show you here. So let's just go into another um, category here. We're going down, you see all these categories. So cell phone accessories, that's the main category. And you know, the number one thing is this glass. I just saw this on Unbox Therapy on YouTube. So yeah, that's definitely doing well. And it, you gotta go all the way to page 100. So this is really monotonous, really tedious research, guys. You can, you're not just gonna go on the first day and be like, dude, I'm gonna sell this thing, Do I found it. Everyone in my course, I tell them, don't, Come to me with your super exciting idea until you've made a list of 30 products because you may have found a good product, but we're looking for the greatest possible product, okay? Yeah. So definitely take a few weeks or a month. So you gotta go all the way to page 100 here, okay? There's unlimited things. And this is only the uh, top level category. Go all the way down, cell phone accessories, and then it goes down again, lens attachments, and then it goes down again, um, okay, that's the bottom, lens attachment. So there's all these sub, sub, sub categories. And so that's why it takes a long, long time. And so once you have a list and you want to you uh, 30 you know, potential products and you want to go deeper and narrow that down, what you will do, let's say you're looking at uh, cell phone lenses. So what you would do is you would um, search it in the search bar. So um, phone lens, phone lenses. You would search the main keyword. I think that's probably just the main keyword for that, right? And so here are all, so if someone searches for phone lenses, this is what they're gonna see on the first page and our goal is to get on the first page. Um, so what you wanna do is, there's a extension for Chrome called Unicorn Smasher. Yes, Unicorn Smasher, oh, yeah. and it's free. And so once when you're on the search results page, just click it, and it will analyze, analyze. Takes a second. Wow, I've never seen this one before, but it's a free, free, free extension. Yeah, there's also Jungle Scout, which yeah. is uh, paid, and it has. It has another research tool where you, you put in the criteria, like price criteria, to, to find best sellers. But the method that I use is always just the old fashioned way. Just go to the best seller page and comb through and look at stuff that way. So once Unicorn Smasher pops up, you will see they have estimated sales data and reviews. So basically what I'm looking for is I'm trying to picture myself at 10 sales a day. That's the goal. In the Amazon method world, 10 sales a day is a successful product. So I'm seeing how many sellers are doing 10 sales per day and is there potentially room for a new seller, me, to get in there and also sell 10 per day. So you can actually filter it, um, rank it by sales. So these guys are crushing it. And this niche is a little bit on the inexpensive side. Personally, I like to go premium, so I like to price my product uh, higher than the other guys and make it an actual, like provide more value in the product. And is this sales daily? Is this, and this these month? are, yeah, these are monthly sales. Okay. So I, I'm looking at numbers over 300. Okay. So there are, you know, one, two, three, four, lots of guys over 300. So I would say this is probably, and then I'm looking at reviews at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a lot of guys doing over 300 sales uh, a month 
with under a hundred reviews because I want to because it's hard to get past a hundred reviews that quick. So I'm gonna picture myself at a hundred reviews, maybe fifty reviews, and be like, okay, fifty reviews. How many sales am I gonna be at? Oh, okay. These guys are doing you know thirty per day, but. The reason why these numbers are so high is because it's kind of a low priced item. This is under 20 bucks. So I'd probably avoid this one because it's a little too inexpensive. I want to say between 20 and $50. Um, but you kind of get the gist of it. You're, um, you're looking for successful players and you're kind of analyzing that data, data to see if there's room to, to get in. Let's look at car accessories real quick and just do one more. Um, so what's something that would be a little bit more, a little bit more expensive here. I got all these widgets, blah, 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 blah. And when you say like, um, spending a month on it, is that like a few hours a day or, um, in terms of time commitment over that month? Yeah. Is it a few hours per day, a few hours per day. All right. And you wouldn't recommend cramming that into like, if you would just like spend eight hours a day on Amazon I, I, for a week, you wouldn't recommend that? Actually, I, I did do, I did spend in pun space here. I remember all my time for eight hours a day for multiple weeks was spent coming through Amazon. It's like, oh, another day of looking through page 50 through 100 of Amazon. And then after you come through Amazon, you got to come through Alibaba. And we haven't even gone there yet. Wow. So this, <laughs> hey guys, like, as you know, through my YouTube channel, sorry to brag, but if you, if you're first, if you're first, if you can get a product that works, like it's so passive. I wake up every day and I make money. Like it's a um, passive income is the sh bleep. It's the best. Yeah. So it's about putting in that effort up front and then, you know, reaping the rewards. Like, yeah, you, you gotta be. You got to do your due diligence, like um, definitely do your due, your due diligence. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you guys, these are the keys. These are the major keys that I've learned. I've had two successful products and one not successful product. The two successful ones were unique. They were unique. They have unique features that no other listing has. The second, the one that didn't do well was there were other sellers with the same exact model but what we did with that one is we tried to make the look, we put a logo on it and made the packaging sexier and the branding and the photo sexier and the, the name of the product real sexy. That turned out not to be enough. Customers want physical, unique features. They don't care if your brand name is, is really cool or if your packaging is cool. You have to make the product stand out. And actually a case study is um, my little brother actually came to visit us in Saigon back in January. He, he's, on Facebook. Yeah, he saw, yeah, post, just posted in the group. He saw our lifestyle, like one of his quotes that I'll never forget is, wow, your guys' lifestyle, the way you guys live, people have no idea. Like yeah. people have no idea. And so and then he was obviously inspired. So goes back home and my mom's telling me like, yeah, your little brother, he's ordering, he's getting samples to China sent to the house all the time. I was like, what? Like he's just doing this all by himself. He just ran with it. And uh, last month he, this was his second um, product try. So his first product try, he put about three grand into it. Didn't sell so hot, but he got back like two, two grand of that three grand, but it just sold slowly. And so he went back with the, his second product try and last month it just hit 10 sales per day for a week straight. So pff, like he's making a few grand a month, like pff, passively, like wow. crazy. So <laughs> is he gonna start a YouTube channel and Live Who in Saigon knows? and Riley Bennett one two point oh. <laughs> like little, he's literally like a little me. He's actually taller than me, which is funny. Um so yeah, so car phone mounts. I'm just going into the research here. Mm -hmm. And um uh, yeah, so and then you click Unicorn Smasher and you analyze the data and um my blog post goes into the details of what you know what numbers you're you're looking at but in general you're just trying to see if you can squeeze in there and you can get into the nitty-gritty in, in the blog post and obviously I go into it in the course but um yeah that's kind of what you're that's kind of what you're looking for back to the blog post here guys um yeah that's what it looks like 10 sales per day kind of what I go through okay 
Step dos, numero song, numero ha. Hi, Vietnamese is hi. Hi is song, yes. Hi song. Okay, buy in bulk from Alibaba. Okay. I'm singing a ha. Okay. Okay, Riley, what are you doing, buddy? So Alibaba.com, I forgot to pull it up. Ali, Ali Laba Laba, Ali. There we go. Alibaba.com. <laughs> Alibaba.com is just the wholesale version of Amazon. It's really, really easy. This is what it looks like. And so let's see, let's see, uh, let's say you've narrowed down your list of 30 to like maybe five of your favorite best opportunities. So you would just go here and you would, uh, you would search it. So let's just search glass bottle amber because this is what Alibaba is randomly popping up. Um, it says popular searches. So let's see what that is. And let's kind of just show you guys what Alibaba looks like. It's literally the same as Amazon, just in China and you buy wholesale. So it's great. So Amber test bottle. These are like some bottles. For, oh, these are bottles to put like your, your uh, serums in. Serums are real popular um, on Amazon. So yeah, you would go here and the crazy part about Alibaba is there's not just a hundred pages. There's like 500 pages. See, it's there's two, 270 pages of just this. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys a, a real story is on our first prototype product. I found, I found our unique model that ended up working. I found that on page a hundred. I was looking for like three days combing through Alibaba looking for a unique model of this niche I wanted to get into because there's so many models like a lot of them have already made their way to Amazon but a lot of them are Chinese factories are always coming up with like new new crazy versions of stuff like with new features hey there's a phone case with a freaking satellite coming out of it <laughs> who knows but there's always crazy crazy stuff you can find on Alibaba and it wasn't till page 100 until I found this new model with this feature that I was looking for. I was like, yeah, that's what I want. So you really gotta spend time combing through Alibaba to uh, look for something unique. And the other way, the other way I forgot to mention that you can make your product unique is the bundle method, okay? So that's taking two things that go together that are both selling well and packaging them together and your supplier will, um, they will blister package them together into one package, you can brand it, boom, as a bundle. So I talk about that more in the course. Um, that's why our first product succeeded, guys. Wink, wink, that's why it's so good, because it's unique, okay? But the two things have to go, to, go together like pe peanut butter and jelly, all right? So Alibaba is direct from the factories in China. Yes, yes, yes. It's very easy to source from them. You're, you're chatting on Alibaba and then you move over to Skype chat. It makes it really easy with Skype chat. You're Skype messaging from your phone uh, and you can do video calls with them if you want. We do, we've done a couple of those. Um, so yeah, after you, this is a big part. So after you um, have narrowed it down to a few, maybe your two or three top, you order samples from Alibaba. Mm -hmm. and you get your samples sent to wherever you are. So we've gotten samples sent to Cambodia, no joke. We've gotten samples sent, when we were backpacking around, we sent to our hostel. Wow. Uh, it takes about five days anywhere in the world, um, Express, DHL, or FedEx. Samples sent to here, samples sent to Vietnam. So, and then you wanna order a couple different samples of like the model you're looking for, and then choose, always choose the highest quality one. And then once you've found it, go start with a test order. And a test order is maybe 200 units. You don't wanna go all in with a thousand units because you wanna just test it out just to make sure people are buying this um, at a good rate on Amazon. So put in like, you can get started with a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks for a test order and um, you give it a couple months. If it crosses 10 sales per day, Cha-ching, that's a successful product, um, order more. And if you start with 200, maybe order 500 next time, and then if, that, if it's still doing good, you validated it, okay, go in all in with 1,000. And so what we did is we were bootstrapping here in Chiang Mai 
with uh, our test order. It did successful, but we had to take that profit to stay out here. And so what we did is we went to uh, a friend and we, or uh, a silent partner as it's called in the Amazon world. And we got an investment from our silent partner for the funds to go in with a thousand units. So that's the reality. A lot of us don't have, you know, 10, 20 grand for a thousand units sitting in the bank account. So you may have to go out and find a silent partner to uh, partner up with to get those funds. So that's what we did. So that's a method there. Okay. Um, so for the launch, step numero trace, once it gets into Amazon, what you want to do is you want to do a big promotion to get a bunch of reviews. Now, before last month, we were able to use coupon codes to send out 90% off coupon codes to these Facebook review groups in order to get a bunch of quick reviews. Yeah. Amazon stopped that. Understandably, because they don't want reviews to be biased. Yeah. Um, so you will have to stay tuned to uh, my uh, channel and my blog on the next best way to get reviews. There are, uh, instead of using coupons, I'm speculating that on the first day the product hits Amazon, we can start off the price at $1 or start it off real cheap. Um, and then send that link to our list of 30 reviewers that we've pre-qualified as interested to review this type of product. Um, overall, I'm not that worried about the rule change. We're just going to have to do what Tim Ferriss says and adapt to the next best thing. Someone else is going to find the next best way to get reviews. So you want to do basically a big promotion. Um, in the beginning and we're going to be paying attention over this holiday season to see what the next best way to get quick reviews is. There's a lot of Amazon sellers in this e-commerce world. Someone else is going to find the next best thing and then everyone else is going to start doing it. Okay. So don't worry. Um, yeah. So after you have a lot of reviews, then you're kind of in the game. It's all about reviews on Amazon. Everyone shops on Amazon. Um, yeah. And so if your test order works, then order more. If it doesn't hit 10 sales per day, then that very well, very well may happen. You gotta go back to your next product idea and try that, okay? So not every product is guaranteed to work. This is a real business. What is it, like 80% of startups fail anyways? Yeah. Like this has a much better chance of succeeding than, than most businesses and it's way less startup cost than most businesses, so. In the grand scheme of things, it's uh, it's not a bad gig. Yeah. Here's here's the update to the uh, review policy, um, and also on the listing, there's certain uh, Amazon hacks that you can do to make your listing sell well. <coughs> include free extras, include an ebook, um, have sexy models in your pictures, um, make the title unique and stand out, makes your photos unique and stand out. That's really easy. You can take the photos yourself. Or we, there's a photographer here in Chiang Mai we use. Um, yeah, here's a breakdown of our product, uh, our product margins. Our product sells at $39.99. We get back about 30 bucks of that. So Amazon takes about 25%. But that also includes all of our marketing. We don't do any outside marketing. Just to clarify that guys, all of our sales come through searches in the Amazon search bar. We're not advertising this anywhere and we never have. It's crazy. We may do that in the future, but the best converting uh, searches are gonna be people already on Amazon, already looking already looking to buy this thing. Yeah. So it makes sense. As a, as a, break, a breakdown of our profit, about, let's see, $40 sale, we make about $13 profit, okay? Um, you, can, you can look at the Amazon uh, fees uh, with this link here, takes you to a thing. Here's my a screenshot of my payments from 2016. Amazon pays you bi-weekly, so you can go look at that. We've been doing all right. So just to, uh, wrapping up here, um, the Amazon method philosophy is why private labeling is so attractive to entrepreneurs. It's because it's something you actually own. It, you control the pricing, you control the distribution, um, you can sell this brand that you want to, that you're building. And so the kind of overall goal is to build a brand of related products. Um, let's say you're, you start with a phone case, your next one can be a, a, an upgraded phone case or a different phone case. And let's say three to five years from now, you can 
sell your little brand of phone cases. Mm. Um, Ryan Moran, a great YouTube channel and awesome uh, uh, content on there. He sold his uh, yoga brands for a million dollars after uh, a few years, all built on Amazon selling products. His, uh, his yoga mats were crushing. So he has a great video on that you can watch. So building something that you own is the private label um, strategy. You're not affiliate marketing other stuff where you know getting into price wars and stuff like that. You control everything. Being different, standing out, like I said, you gotta be different, stand out. You can't just throw up the same, same thing and be like, oh, well, they're gonna buy mine too. Why would a shopper buy yours over the other guys? Because if you're the same, the other guy's just gonna lower the price and then you're gonna get into a price for it. If you're unique, you can charge whatever you want, all right? Um, building a brand of related products, like I said, and obviously the overall philosophy is to automate your income, free up your life. If this wasn't an automated business, a cash flow business, we wouldn't get into it. It's all because it's automatable. It allows us to sleep in, it allows us to be location independent. I can do this business from anywhere in the world. Um, and eventually you can outsource um, all the little nitty gritty uh, um, things like customer messages, um, uh, optimizing your page. Um, frequently asked question here, how much time do I spend working on my Amazon business? Um, probably a, just a couple hours per day between Parker and I. That includes responding to a few customer emails per day. Um, once a week, I'll spend a few hours and you know optimize some photos and just kind of look at the page and tweak a few things here and there, but not that many hours per week, guys. It's pretty, pretty automatable. And so the two to five year vision is to sell our brand for a million bucks. And again, look at Ryan Moran's video. He did it with his yoga mat brand. Wow. Um, so in in summary guys, we're looking for We're looking to find products that are already selling a ton We're looking for a waterfall of sales and we're just trying to jump into that flood and get our little piece of pie We're not trying to reinvent the wheel the wheel here and Amazon is very very big. You can do this from Australia <laughs> um, yeah, someone actually asked me, you know, specifically about Australia. You can do this from Australia. There's a lot of people all around the world that sell on Amazon US. It's all about Amazon US. Amazon UK is actually up and coming. Um, I have another video where I uh, touch on that. Um, I got some frequently asked questions here. It took us about three months until we were profitable. Um, from idea to launch, it's about four to six months. Um, like after you have a product that you're going to go with, it's about four to six months before it actually hits on Amazon conserv okay. conservatively. What's, what's sort of the main factors of the, that duration? Is it getting the sample back, checking that it's good? Um, do, you, do, you, do you actually get a few like, um, what do you call them, suppliers to um, send you samples and you choose the best? I guess it's about finding the... Yeah. the perfect um, supplier, right? Yeah, so after you've kind of narrowed down the niche, I would say, you know, that's that's the idea. And then samples, it takes five days to, for samples to get here. I would definitely order from a few different, a few different models from a few different um, suppliers mm -hmm. and then pick the best one. And then usually it takes like a month uh, to actually make the product. Some factories, everything's already made and they just got to stamp your logo on it and print the custom packaging. Yeah. But yeah, it's for production time and then uh, shipping time takes about a week if you go UPS Express Air all the way or if you want to go by sea, it takes about two months. Uh -huh. So, um, but I, I say four to six months on the conservative side just so people have realistic expectations because things always get delayed in my experience. Things always take longer than expected. Um, like you send the logo to the to the uh, to your really a sales rep, and they they print it and they send you a photo and it's wrong and then that that kills yeah. a few days and like back and forth stuff and they mess up the packaging. This is always stuff that goes wrong. Hey, it's business, right? Yeah. So stuff always takes longer than expected. Um, people are asking about Alibaba. It's really really safe. Like Alibaba is a big company. They they check their suppliers like. Every, every supplier is like vetted um, to be safe, like they're all legit.
basically. Is that the biggest benefit of going through Alibaba is, is the fact that it's backed by like a massive company, Alibaba? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Every, if you have, if your suppliers on Alibaba, they're all, they're all double checked and, and verified and, and stuff like that. So, um, good point. There's actually an Amazon meetup here uh, every Wednesday in Chiang Mai and some people actually source from Thailand. Oh. They actually source from Thailand. There is um, a company here, can't think of the name right now, but some people actually do source from Thailand and I know this one Thai uh, girl from Chiang Mai, um, I met her there and she actually makes clothes um, sources clothes from here. So she sells on Amazon. So you can source really anywhere in the world, but most people source from China because it literally is the best price uh, for wholesale stuff. So here's a, here's a good frequently asked question. Um, Riley, uh, I appreciate this, but why do you do it? Wouldn't you want to have less competition? Um, so why would you teach people? And the, the reality is there's tens and thousands of niches. So everyone selling on Amazon is not competing. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, there's really not that many of us Amazon sellers. Like when you get into this e-commerce world, it may seem like everyone does it, but go back home. Nobody does it. <laughs> everyone does it in Chiang Mai, but in the grand scheme of America or the world, like we are the 1% of 1% of people who are actually thinking about selling on Amazon. And there's so many different niches to choose from, from uh, pet, um, Cat scratchers to cell phone cases to <laughs> laptop cases to standing desks. Yeah. Like so many things. Um, so, yeah, thanks for reading, guys. Um, you can hit me on the social medias and stuff. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks so much uh, for coming on and uh, sharing your whole system. Um, my if- whole system. My <laughs> money making cash system. Make $10,000 by next week. Guaranteed. Just give me $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pick up uh, Riley's course, it's, it's going to be the first link in the description. Um, so definitely uh, check that out if you're interested in making money uh, with Amazon. Um, definitely uh, go over and it's called Living That Life Now. Just just Living That Life, the YouTube channel, right? L- living That Life. Living That Life. Uh, yeah, comment on my videos about the course or about anything just to say hi or you can hit me up on the social media, the Snapchats. <laughs> the Facebooks, the Instagrams. So I got nothing but time, guys. Say what's up, ask me <laughs> questions. It's, uh, I love answering questions in the morning, it's fun. All right, well, thanks again, and thanks, thanks, thank you to you guys for watching. Um, be sure to hit subscribe to get more of these videos in your feed, and I will see you on the next video.